Do you ever feel like nervous that it could go left quickly when you're out there? <laughs> Do you feel nervous that it could go left? That it could go left? My crowd never wants to go left. I will tell you that. Much. <laughs> There is not an iota of <laughs> left leaning in most of the crowds <laughs> that I'm around. Uh, you know, the bum rushes at the rallies have, have increased. Uh, literally four hours ago, we were talking to someone, and a woman in a giant MAGA hat humped my producer and jumped in front of the camera to try to interrupt the, uh, the interview. Um, again, I can handle a random humping on the street, that's fine. <laughs> As long as they're not armed, uh, but but stuff is getting weirder and dicier out there every time I go out. Um, over here, mask man. Uh, question for both of you. So let's say Comedy Central gave you a time machine and said, "Hey, you gotta go back in time and interview someone. Who would you go interview?" <laughs> if Comedy Central gave us a time machine, who you would we go back in time and interview? How, how much money do you think Comedy Central has? <laughs> Do you have any, do you have any, that, that is such an insulting <laughs> question. Do you know how cheap this network is? This network programs 17 hours of The Office every single day. Roy is wearing my suit right now. You think they would invest in time travel um, technology? No if, way. If, if anybody from Comedy Central is watching this right now, that's Jordan Klepper said that, not me. <laughs> This is uh, tech, no, technically I've, this is Roy's hosting week. So <laughs> as the boss, you've okayed this moment. <laughs> <laughs> you have to heavy is the crowd, Roy Wood. Uh, if I'm going back in time, who would you interview? I, I gotta go Martin Luther King or Malcolm X, bro. Yeah. Uh, like I want to bring one of them up to the present day and be like, man, you see this shit, man? You you got to keep marching. <laughs> Ooh, what about you? Uh, well, you took the obvious ones. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> uh, you know what? I would like to go back. It's a cliche, but I'd like to talk to Abraham Lincoln. One, it's nice to talk to somebody over six foot three. Woo. I like some Lincoln heads over there. <laughs> Springfield, Illinois, baby! I want to talk to Abraham Lincoln because I think his name has been besmirched in the last 20 years, and he is used as like a, a get me out of being racist card <laughs> by so many folks on the right. Like, well, he was a Republican, so uh, I'm like, I want to sit Abraham Lincoln down, read him the shit that's happening today, and be like, do you co-sign on this right now? <laughs> yes or no? Thank you for talking to me. Enjoy the theater. <laughs> And then I'd warn him. And then I'd warn him. I'd warn him. Sorry, don't go to the theater. Don't go to the theater. You shouldn't go to the theater. Jordan, call for everybody. Can I say one thing? How good a job is Roy Wood Jr. Jordan? Yeah. Oh, I want to say, stop it. Look at this. Stop it. Look at this. Stop it. I'm going to. You're a mean man. I'm going to take it. I'm going to say one. I was here in the John days. I remember I was here when Roy got brought on and the first field piece uh, we got to do together. Um, and that I remember, racism. do you remember that yeah. one? <laughs> yeah, the police reformed, the police, uh, police, it was police bias training yeah, that was taking place training. in uh, Wisconsin, yeah. right? And Roy Wood Jr. Is, is, is funny like that. That's not a problem. But he's also one of the hardest working people in comedy I have ever met. And I remember that day, you wanted to study how it was done, you put in the work, you put in the effort, uh, and you're as kind as can be. And I think all those things you don't see because you make it look so easy. And so it's just a, it's a testament to hard work and, and being a good person, uh, the success that these shows have had. So it's, uh, as a fan of The Daily Show, getting to watch you do this is great. Roy Wood Jr. Thank you, buddy. Get that third act.